Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about campus requirement system Abstract Training and placement activities are very important part of the educational institute in which most of the work till now is being done manually The training and placement officer has to inform the number of students about every single training and placement related activities this application manages the placement activities and also forms the network of training and placement officers with the region so that every college and students get notified in placement related activity happens in one college. This application can help the placement officer to provide the details of upcoming companies. The front end of the system is developed with the help of HTML and CSS. The back end of the system will be managed with the help of PHP and database of uh, database management of the system will be done with the help of MySQL database. This is our project flow diagram. Uh, we have three modules in our process. One is admin, another one is company and then student. Admin is a person who can manage the student and the company by giving them approval uh, once they registered and admin can also view the uh, selected and the non-selected students for the campus and then company a uh, company can update the requirement uh, based upon the skills and the company can also uh, view the applied student for a job and then company can change the own profile uh, by changing its password and then student uh, student can uh, view the vacancy uh, and then student can view the own details and then student can apply for the job uh, which is posted by the company. Now we are going to discuss about our project output. This is our home page. We have three modules in our process. One is admin, another one is company and then a student. First I am going to log in with admin's username and password. Admin username is admin and password is 123. This is the admin's uh, dashboard and uh, admin can manage the students uh, by giving them uh, approval and admin can also view their education details and then admin can manage the uh, company details also and uh, admin can view the vacancy of the uh, companies and then selected student list unselected student list can also uh, viewed by admin and concept of the company uh, in, the, in this only we can uh, get approved from the admin and consent of the student uh, once a uh, company and the student have been registered they have to be get approved by the admin here only they have to get these are all the process which are going to handle by the admin now, now I am going to log out now I'm going to log in with the company's user ID and password. This is company's dashboard. First I'm going to log in with the company's ID and the password is 1234. This is the company's uh, page where company can update their uh, requirement uh, based upon the company code and the job type uh, and then post. Uh, here itself we can enter the salary package and then uh, percentage of SSLC and the minimum uh, degree mark question paper type also can be selected and admin can also add the skills uh, required for the job and then view applied students uh, in this page uh, company can view the uh, applied students and then uh, company can uh, change the one password uh, here these are all the activities which company is going to be done. Now I am going to log out from the company page. Now I am going to log in with this use, uh, student user uh, username and password. This is the student uh, dashboard. Here we can add the new student, uh, register for a new student. As we have already registered, we can log in here with their uh, email ID and password. Password is 123. 
this is students page here a uh, student can view the vacancy of the company and then student can uh, view their own details and students can also change their own password now i'm going to log out thank you